homemade wine, aka Folery, aka Zobo Drink. Hello, beautiful people. Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl with the blessed hands. In today's video, I will be showing you how to make the most delicious Folery. Epic one, as a matter of fact. So, you need some Zobo leaves, pineapple, lemon, ginger, cucumber, cloves, orange some sweetening you can use sugar or honey and water so the very first thing we're going to be using this is zobo leaf it is called hibiscus so this is what it looks like hibiscus is also known as kakade red tea red sorry jamaican sorry rosella soborodo in other words zobo dream and it's the taste is sour. Some people call it sour tea. It has some health benefits, and in Thailand, most people take it to quench their taste. So, health benefits of this. Some studies have proven that it cures hypertension. It is has some laxative effect, though not clinically proven. So let's dive straight to it. The very first thing I'm going to do, I put it in a sieve and then I rinse it just in case it has some dust because it's dried. So you can really uh, guarantee it's hygienic condition because it's already dry. So I have to rinse it in a sieve. In that, that way, if it's having some sand or dust, it just take it out. So watch closely step by step and see how we are going to prepare this drink. This drink from my research is not so good for a pregnant woman, especially the early stage because it provokes menstruation and that alone as a pregnant woman, you will know how risky that is. So I had to pass it in a bowl to be sure I rinse it well. Now, people have various ways of preparing their Zobo drink. In Cameroon, like I said, we call this folery. Some people prepare it at once, but my method is completely different. So stay tuned. I'm using two pineapples because the quantity I'm preparing is quite much. So I'm going to be using two pineapples. As you can see, I have to wash my pineapples very well because I'm going to be using the peels, okay? I'm not throwing the peels away. So I'm going to be peeling my pineapple to use the peels in cooking the Zobo drink. Now, so the next thing we have to do, we have to take off the peelings of our pineapple. Look at that pineapple, ripe and sweet. Yes, it's good to get the sweeter one because naturally hibiscus plants are sour. So using sweetener like this pineapple will reduce the quantity of sugar you need to put for it to have a good taste. And as for the lemon, I'm going to be using up to two lemon. You know why? This is the new normal season. When I say the new normal in Thailand, the rate of COVID is so high. So drinking lemon is already like a daily routine. So I'm going to be putting extra one lemon because normally I prepare my Zobo drink with just one lemon because it's already sour enough. But the lemon I'm putting here that I'll be putting to boil my Zobo drink with is just because... I need that in my system. I need to boost my metabolism. As you can see, I'm going to pass it in my pot. Now, this is not to cook, okay? Though in the pot is because my bowl is smaller. So, I'm going to put this for it to sleep overnight. Yes, you heard me right. Right now, I have my pineapple peels put in my Zobo leaves. For the pineapple itself, I had to preserve it. I will blend it before putting, not now. So because I, like I said, I have to put my Zobo to sleep overnight in water before I cook it the next day. So I have to preserve my pineapple. Right now, I have my ginger, one finger kind of, depending on the quantity, right? So I put it right in my pot. That's tipping it to stay overnight. Like I said, I'm using two lemon because I need to boost my metabolism. Lemon right now is a daily something. We drink lemon in Thailand as tea just to keep ourselves safe. So I make sure that all those things are infused in water. Now by morning, you're going to see the color of this Zobo drink. It will shock you. Yeah. So I'm going to add some cloves to it. It makes it so flavorful so i'm gonna be adding some cloves so i have to rinse dust of the cloth because it's dry 
don't mess with dry ingredients when cooking with them so i'm adding in some cloves right now okay now my cloves my lemon my pineapple piece are already in my water with the zobo leaves i'm adding some few pineapple like just one so make sure that it reinfuses in water so i'm gonna cover my pot and keep it in my fridge to pass the night now this is the next morning look at what i said i've not cooked it yet okay that's my zobo it is dry okay so it's always good to put it this method is the best you're gonna get all the juice out of it if you put it to stay overnight before you cook so there i'm gonna add in my cucumber just slice my cucumber and add it i didn't want to put the cucumber to sleep overnight now i have my orange i went to the local market and i happened to see the guy processing it so i just bought the one that is already processed right in front of me okay so i don't have to stress squeezing out the juice from the oranges i'm adding the cucumber and the oranges the next day that's this is when i'm about to put it on fire so right now i have all my ingredients in my pot the ones that i'm supposed to cook and for the pineapple i'm gonna put it in the blender I'm not going to put it when it's ready because I also need to cook the pineapple, but I'm not going to start it immediately with the other one. So I'm going to put my pot right now on the gas stove. Now that is my zobo. Look at that. Still to be cooked, okay? I haven't started cooking yet. So that is it on my gas stove. And I am blending my pineapple. That is my blended pineapple. I'm just going to pour the puree in my drink. And allow everything to cook for about 30 minutes. Okay, now I come in and try to stir it just a little bit. And then I go in with my brown sugar. Those are two cups of sugar because as of now, I can imagine how sour the taste can be. So I'm going to be using brown sugar. You can use any sweetener of your choice. If you are using honey, it's advisable to put it where you are about to drink. But with sugar, I love to cook it. Yeah, so I have to pour in my two cups of sugar while everything is cooking at once. I know in 30 minutes time, we're going to be ready to drink our Zobo. <laughs> no, I'm not serious about that drinking. Zobo is good when cold or frozen so that is our zobo that's about an hour 30 minutes it cooked for 30 minutes and i allow it to cool down for about an hour okay yeah it has to cool down everything has to be cool and nice you can see how look at the color look at the color of our drink so i want to sieve it at this moment i have to separate the chows from the liquid so i'm trying to use a bigger sieve because it's much more easier this method so i'm gonna be back after i sieve all my zobo Saving my zobo now i have to put it in containers where i will preserve it i will put it in the freezer <laughs> you know what foliary heats different when frozen at times we put it in sachet but i couldn't lay hands on the small sachet the alaska sachet <laughs> if you know you know yes when you put it in a sachet it heats differently so i'm gonna be putting it in bottles and I will put it in the freezer, not fridge. I put it in the freezer because that ice in it, <laughs> it heats differently, especially the spirit that places are this hot. So go ahead and make some zobo. Our foliary is ready. Look at that. Look at that one in the wine glass. Oh my God.
Look at that. No. Look at the color. Now, the secret of Koleri to come out this nice is if you steep it to stay in water overnight. Now, I'm going to give a try. I have to know how this Koleri tastes like. So, because it is not yet cold, I will be using some ice cube. I will put in some ice cube and then give it a taste. And I will let you know what I think about this Koleri. Are you going to try this? Have you ever tried this method of tipping your hibiscus leaf to sleep overnight before you boil them? If you've never and you love drinking foliary, give it a try. Your, your thinking or your, your love for foliary will increase times two. I wanted to sip, okay? But the taste could not permit me sip. I had to drink. I almost finished the whole thing. It's that good. Look at our foliary. Zobo drink, homemade wine. Go on and enjoy your holiday. This summer period, make some foliary for the family. Please, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, just click that button and I will really appreciate. Okay, so this is how I served my husband after making this drink and he enjoyed his meal. So I want to say a big thank you to my return subscribers. If you have watched this video up to this point, you are the real MVP. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you for watching. Thank you for liking and commenting. May God bless you. Okay. Tell me you are a mother without saying you are a mother. <laughs> I wouldn't have stopped this for lady without making good use of this, my ice cream cup for the kids. You know what? We had to just pour some and make them some popsicle for Larry. <laughs> they enjoy it this way. So I had to just put some, pour some in these cups and put it in the freezer. This is the best way. Like I said, if you don't have those Alaska sachets, <laughs> Try it this way. Put it in this popsicle form and you're going to love it. Let's make some popsicle zobo. Popsicle for Larry. <laughs> so I'm just going to put everything in the fridge with the other for Larry. So that is what my freezer looks like at the moment. <laughs> Summer is about to go down. Eh? Sun crank will play. <laughs>